Have you ever wanted to know who your most active users were? Or what reports are actually being used? Or what your longest running reports are? Enterprise Manager, coming up. All right, so Enterprise Manager. Um, all right, so now I'm going to take you through the setup and configuration of Enterprise Manager from scratch. Um, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to want to create a database uh, for all the metadata for Enterprise Manager. Now I'm using SQL Server, but you can use whatever database you want. Uh, so I'm simply going to right click, create a new database. Now I already have an Enterprise Manager database, but I'm just going to create a second one. So we'll just call this Enterprise manager demo and we'll click OK okay and now we have an empty database ready to um, house our enterprise manager metadata alright now the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to need to create an ODBC connection that points to our new uh, database we created for enterprise manager on SQL Server here so I'm going to click start search for ODBC create a new system DSN and click add We'll come down, we'll choose SQL Server, since I'm using SQL Server. And we'll name this connection, so we'll call this Enterprise Manager Demo. And we'll type in the name of our SQL Server here, we'll search for it. And it's SQL Express 2012. We'll click Next. And I'm using SQL Server authentication, so we'll just uh, enter our credentials here. We'll click Next, Next, Finish, and we'll test it. Test is successful. Click OK, and there we have it. Now we have our new. Now we have our new uh, DSN. All right. Now the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to need to create our connection in MicroStrategy. So we'll come down to Administration. We'll come down to Configuration Managers, Database Instances. We'll right click and we'll create a new database instance. This will open up the wizard and we'll click Next. And we'll name our database instance. We'll call this Enterprise Manager Demo. And we'll choose our database type, which is SQL Server. SQL Server 2012. We'll click Next. And now we'll choose that ODBC connection that we just created, Enterprise Manager Demo. We'll enter our password. We'll click Next. Then we'll click Finish. Oh, I already have this logon. So would you like to use this as the database login? So we'll click Yes, since I already have a logon, the same logon, so that's fine. All right, now the next thing we're going to want to do is open up our MicroStrategy Configuration Wizard, and that's under Start. Programs, MicroStrategy Tools, Configuration Wizard. We're going to select this first option, Create Metadata, History List, and Enterprise Manager Repositories. Now what this is going to do is, we're going to be populating our database with all the necessary metadata tables for Enterprise Manager. So we'll click Next, and we're going to want to make sure these first two options are unchecked, Metadata and History List, and all we want to do is check that third option, Statistics and Enterprise Manager Repository. And we'll come and click Next. And now in this step, we're going to choose our DSN connection that we created earlier, Enterprise Manager Demo. We'll enter our username and password, and we'll click Next. Now this is going to connect to our repository, and this is just telling you what it's going to do. It's going to configure the statistics in Enterprise Manager repository. Uh, so we'll, that's fine. This is what we want. But we'll go ahead and click Finish. And now it's going to do its thing. This might take a while to run, so you just let it run. And this will create all of the tables and populate our new database and get everything ready for Enterprise Manager. All right, now that finished. And you can see it completed successfully. So we'll click Return. All right, now that that's finished, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to create our Enterprise Manager MicroStrategy project. So we'll come down here. We'll select the third option, Create Enterprise Manager Project. And we'll click Next. Now, what this is going to do is, this is going to create our MicroStrategy project 
um, that we're going to use to run reports and things like that against Enterprise Manager and, and get some useful information. Now, this project's going to come with a lot of pre-canned reports, and, and there's really a lot that you can explore and kind of go through, and, and, and it comes pre-configured with a lot of that stuff. But this is going to give us really a good foundation to work with. Um, so here we're going to enter our logon for our intelligence server, and then we'll click Next. And now what this is going to do is, all this is going to do is it's going to warn us that there's already an existing Enterprise Manager project in this metadata. If you like to upgrade, blah, blah, blah. So you want to click Yes here. And then click Next. Click Next again. And now we're going to want to choose our database connection that we, select, that we created earlier, Enterprise Manager Demo. And enter our logon. Then we'll click Next again. Okay. And this is going to tell us what it's going to do, a little summary. And then we'll click Finish, and we'll let it run. Now, this step may t and take a while. It's actually, this is going to create a lot of objects uh, in MicroStrategy. And like I said, this is going to give you a really good foundation to work with. All right, now that that's finished, we'll click Return, and we'll click Exit. All right, now the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to open our MicroStrategy Service Manager. And we're going to make sure we chose MicroStrategy Enterprise Manager Data Loader from the list of services. We're going to want to come down to Options. And first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to make sure we have the correct account information entered in here. If you're using the system of account, then that's fine. Um, you're going to want to make sure your startup type is what you want. We'll leave it to Automatic. Then we're going to choose Enterprise Manager Options. Okay, And you're going to want to make sure that your ODBC connection is correct. So in our case, we're going to use that connection we created earlier, Enterprise Manager Demo. And then click OK. In this case, everything's correct, so we're going to click Cancel. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to start your Enterprise Manager Data Loader. So click Start. Shouldn't take too long. It should start up rather quickly. OK. And as you can see, it's running. All right, now the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to make sure our projects are configured to work with Enterprise Manager. We're going to want to, so we're going to want to edit the connections. So we'll come down here, we'll choose Project Configuration. We'll come down to Database Instances, okay? And we'll choose our database instance, our primary instance, which is Tutorial Data. And we'll click Modify, okay? And then we'll click Modify again to modify our database connection. And then we'll click choose the Advanced tab. And you're going to want to make sure this Use Parameterized Queries option is checked. OK? Ours is checked correctly. But it, it is not usually checked by default um, in most cases. But So just make sure that's checked. OK? And we'll click Cancel since ours was already checked. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to do the same thing for the Enterprise Manager um, connection. So we'll come down to Database Instances. And we'll click Modify. And we'll click Modify again. And we'll click Advanced. And we'll make sure Use Parameterized Queries is checked. And it is. So we'll cancel out of here. All right, the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to configure your projects to start logging statistics to Enterprise Manager, OK? So we're going to right click on our project, Project Configuration. And we're going to come down to Database Instances. And we're going to click Statistics. And we're going to want to choose our Enterprise Manager database instance that we created earlier. So I'm going to choose Enterprise Manager Demo. And then I'm going to come down to um, Statistics again, down here. And you're going to want to make sure all of these options that you want are checked. So at the very minimum, you're going to want to make sure this option for basic statistics is checked. But you can go ahead and check everything if you want, depending on how, many, how, many, how much statistics you want to log. Okay. So we'll click OK. And all this is telling you that these changes will be applied after the project is reloaded. So that's OK. We'll click OK. All right. So now that we have our projects configured to use Enterprise Manager and start logging statistics, now we're going to want to come into Command Manager here. And we're going to want to configure this to actually load the data into our Enterprise Manager. So this is so what we're going to do next is this is going to be the processes that take that statistics data and actually loads it into Enterprise Manager for us to do reporting against. OK, so now I've come into Command Manager here, and I've got a bunch of scripts here. But let's focus on them one at a time. Now, the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to start monitoring. OK, that's this first line here. So start monitoring, monitoring server. 
Now I'm going to enter localhost here because I'm on the intelligence server. Um, you want to enter the username and password for Enterprise Manager and again, localhost and the default port is 9999. Uh, so we can go ahead and run this. Click the yellow lightning bolt. Okay. And now our server is starting to be monitored. Okay. So now the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to configure our data loader process. So this is the process that's going to do the loading of the data. Think of it like the ETL process, right? Um, so the first part of it is create data load. And this is where you can give it a name. You can give it anything you want. So we'll call it tutorial data loader demo. You're going to want to specify the environment. Again, we're on the intelligence servers. We'll just call it localhost. Um, and specify the project. We're going to want to um, load data, statistics data for the MicroStrategy tutorial project. And these are just the actions. So you can just feel free to copy this. You can specify beginning and ending date. Uh, and then the frequency, weekly, I have it set to run Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday uh, from 2 to 6 every hour. Okay? Enabled in Enterprise Manager, again, localhost, and the default port is 9999. Okay? So now, um, we can go ahead and run this. But actually, before we do that, uh, remember when we changed the database instance to use parameterized queries? Uh, it said that would not take effect until you load and unload the project. So let's go over here into this other script I have open here. Um, you can use Command Manager to unload and load projects. Uh, the commands are very simple. They're looking at them here. To unload a project, you, click, you, you just type unload project and then the project name. So we can run that. And that's running. Okay, and that ran successful. And then to load the project again, we'll highlight load project. And we'll click the lightning bolt. Okay, and the project is loaded. Okay, now let's go back to our other script. And we've written the script to configure our data load process. Now let's go ahead and run this. And we'll click the yellow lightning bolt. And okay. And at the bottom of the screen here, you can see our tutorial data loader demo has been created successfully. Okay, now that we've got our enterprise manager configured uh, and everything working as expected, let's go ahead and run some reports just to create some activity. Um, so I'll just come into my reports, and I'll just run a few reports here just to get some user activity so we can then run some uh, Enterprise Manager reports. So this way we have something something to, that our data loader service can load. Uh, so I'll run another report here. Okay, great. We'll save and close that. All right, now we have some activity. Um, so now let's go ahead and let's... Next thing we're going to do is we're going to manually run our data loader service. So let's go ahead and do that. All right. So now that we've created our data loader service, you can see there's other commands I have here. We can list all data loads in Enterprise Manager by running this command. You can see here's our tutorial data loader demo, and it tells us the execution schedule and things like that. Now, the next thing we want to do is we're going to want to run our data loader. So let's that's this command here. Um, first, let's make sure the name is correct. So, tutorial data loader demo. Okay. And we can execute that, highlighting that and running the lightning bolt. Okay, that's running. Okay, so that's kicked off. Now, if we want to view the progress of that, we can run this next command here list properties for current data loads. So, we'll click the lightning bolt. And now, this is where you can monitor the progress. So let's look over here. So now you can see it, the progress is 6.82% complete, and that's currently running. Uh, so we can, keep, we can keep executing this if we want to keep refreshing the progress to see when it's finished. And now it's 13% complete. Okay, now it's 14% complete. You get the idea. All right, so now that we have our Enterprise Manager all set up and ready to go, let's go ahead and run some reports. So we'll come into Enterprise Manager. We'll go into Reports, and there's a lot available here. But just to show an example, we'll come into User Analysis, User Activity Analysis, and we'll run this 83, User and Activity by Project. So we'll run that. And we'll choose from our list of projects, we'll choose MicroStrategy Tutorial, and we'll click Finish. And there you have it. You can see our administrator, the last time they connected was today, which is 5-12-19 at 11.48 a.m. Uh, to the MicroStrategy Tutorial project. Okay, so you can see our, our Enterprise Manager is working and it is logging statistics from our MicroStrategy tutorial project.
All right, so that'll do it. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. And also check out jamestechtips.com for more BI-related content. And thanks for watching.